welcome back to the program. I'm still here with Dr. Chinda. Now, Dr. Chinda, I'm so happy to hear uh, about all these great projects. And since it's in remembrance of the uh, late His Majesty the King, I'm just wondering, is there any particular teachings that, of, of his that you would find to be extremely motivational for you to um, come up with like new projects and such? Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, as we mentioned earlier, uh, uh, since we plan to promote uh, the, 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 the care of the skin problem uh, for the people in the rural area, in the beginning of the project, actually, we consider mainly about how to treat mm -hmm. their problem. Uh, however, when we uh, recognize, when we consider about the teaching uh, from the His Majesty, especially in the part of the uh, to make the community become stronger by themselves, I think this is the very key point that we need to apply because as we know that when we treat the patient just once and what happened mm -hmm. they may recur again in the future and they may suffer they suffer about the problem again mm -hmm. so according to his teaching uh, we plan not only to treat the problem with the mobile uh, mobile medical service but we we plan to contribute the knowledge to the people and the medical personnel in that, in that rural area so they can take care of themselves uh, continuously. Oh. Uh, this is the first point. And the second point, uh, we, we know that uh, sometimes by teaching once only may not be enough. So we set up like the consultation uh, pathway. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, because uh, the advantage of the skin problem uh, when we when we saw the appearance of the skin disease, sometimes we can make the diagnosis. So oh. we use the application, the lie application. Oh, we so take photos. Yes, okay. take photo of the skin lesion. Uh, by this uh, technique, uh, the personnel in the rural area, they can, they can uh, see the patient and then take the photo and make the consultation via the application. So the, peop the patient uh, do not need to travel so far to come to the Bangkok. So this may be very uh, helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're combining technology, obviously, yes. and knowledge together and then send it to, because like you said, there's not that very many specialists yes, in yes. rural area. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is almost like a self-sufficiency yes. that His Majesty the King right, has correctly. always mentioned. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, how is that project coming? Do you find it very useful or how do people in the rural area find that? Or do they kind of like, well, I don't know, you took my photos and <laughs> give me diagnosed, that's it? Uh -huh. uh, actually, uh, the people in the rural area, they're the first uh, very happy that uh, they have the specialist doctor to take care of the skin disease. But the most important thing, the medical personnel in the, ru in the, in the rural area, very happy because they know that this may be the, the, the method that they can prolong, they can extend the result uh, to take care of their people by themselves in the future. Mm. Uh, that's very correctly to the strong community mm -hmm. thesis. And I think you can actually learn from that too, right? Because um, most of the time, if this happens, um, it will happen almost like not just one person mm -hmm. is spread a little. Yes. So almost like you can treat four or five cases yes. and then learn from that. Yes, of course. Oh, okay. of course. What would be the most common um, skin problem like in the rural area that they have actually found and took photos and sent to you and you recognize right away? Uh, actually, uh, the common disease in, in that area, I think there are two major, is about the uh, skin dermatitis and the uh, skin infection. This mm -hmm. is the two common skin disease at that, rubric, that the rural area. But the problem that they consult to us may be more difficult than that, mm -hmm. like the uncommon, uncommon disease. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, when you say that you know, the, it's really common or sometimes it's not life-threatening and such, but it does affect of course. people's lifestyle, right? Of course, mm -hmm. yes. Especially like the self-image. Image. 
you can imagine if uh, you have some skin rash on the hand, on the face, and then need to go to work, uh, see mm -hmm. the friends, your friends may be, oh, what's that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is quite a, like the, uh, the, 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 the problem of the patient about mm -hmm. the self-image. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What about the medication? Are there a lot of medications involved as well, like the medicines and such that you need to send it to the rural area? Yes, uh, since uh, to correct the problem of the shortage in the medicine, we collaborate with another institute to develop uh, the, the cream, the medicine for the skin problem in the like the mass product. Mm -hmm. So in the future, uh, by this collaboration, we can contribute the, the medicine of the skin to our everywhere in Thailand mm -hmm. and we can correct this problem. And this is within the country as well? Yes, yes. Okay, so it's pretty much homemade, really, <laughs> if we talk about it. Okay, now I know that when it's, we talk about research and such and you know, like working with other institutions, I just have to ask because obviously disease changes all the time like yes. you, you find new skin disease all the time yes internationally do we have anything i'm just wondering to, in collaborating research or with experts outside the country is there anything like that yes uh, regarding our hospital we have the collaboration with the with the japan the jutendo university we collaborate uh, to in terms of the not only for the teaching but also the research. Like this year, we will send our two doctors to the Jutendo University uh, to have the further learning as well as to join the research in their hospital. Mm. And I've heard that it's going to be a big conference right here as well. What yes. is that conference? Uh, this conference, we collaborate uh, with the Dermatological Society. I like the Dermatological Society. It's like the it's like the main host to develop the oh. international. So it's separate. Conference. Like separate. We're, you you're with the institute, but you also with the Dermatological Society oh. of Thailand. Since okay. Dermatological Soci Society of Thailand is like a big organization, and we join uh, the skin doctor from the Institute of Dermatology from the Chulalongkorn University Sirirat Hospital, Ramatibadi oh. Hospital, oh, okay. to run this organization together. And uh, by the end of this year, we will uh, have uh, the international congress that will be a very big one. Mm, and that's like ICAT, I believe. Yes, it's called? Uh, okay. the the name is the ICAT twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's from the International Congress of Aesthetic Dermatology. Okay, how many experts or guest speakers will be in here? How big is this? Uh, actually, uh, this congress uh, we 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 held it annually, like the record from the last year. We have the participants, I think, uh, around 700 doctors. Uh, wow. Yes, uh -huh. that's quite a big one. Mm -hmm. Are there a lot of uh, exchanging ideas and such? Can you actually, because when, when you think about, when I think about skin disease in particular, like tropical country will have different disease. Uh -huh. So if it's come from uh -huh. other part of the world, can you combine the language, uh, the knowledge? Uh, actually, we need to uh, we need to to say that uh, for the skin problem, uh, we can separate into the two major, the real skin disease and the aesthetic problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But in this congress, uh, we mainly focus on the aesthetic problem. Mm -hmm. Aesthetic problem. Why? Because uh, we need to accept that nowadays the field of the aesthetic is quite really popular. All, 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 uh, all over the world, uh -huh. everyone concerned about the uh, the image, the personal image. Mm. So many technology has developed. The second one, we think that uh, if we try, uh, 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 because we, we try to follow uh, the policy of the government to develop Thailand as a medical hub. So uh, we know that we have many doctors who are really keen. Uh, in the field of the skin problem, including mm -hmm. the aesthetic field. So, so the so medical tourism. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. that, that's so that's why we developed uh, this congress. Mm, mm -hmm. I see. 
Now, when you talk about, I think I well, when I think about you know all this stuff, it's probably when people want to perhaps like do a Botox or Something injecting like stuff into their on into their face, yes. really faces. Yes. Um, is that really dangerous? Like a life threatening as well? <laughs> like I'm just wondering because I've never done it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, since the technology has been developed so far, so. Uh, Many new technology has been introduced, including the, like the laser treatment, Botox, and the filler. Of course, everything has the advantage and disadvantage, like the flip side. So this is why we need to this, yeah, we need to contribute the the evidence base of the knowledge to the doctors, so mm -hmm. they can achieve the right thing and practice the good thing for the patients. Mm -hmm. Now. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Could you perhaps say a little bit about um, the institute as well as uh, in remembrance of His Majesty the King? Uh, since uh, everyone uh, realized that our king, like the, our father, he has done so many things, uh, not only by himself, but for the people, his people. Uh, mm -hmm. This is quite a very good example that we need to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. If we try to live for ourselves only, our world will not be like the peaceful one. But if we care each other and try to do the good thing to each other, I think our world will be happy and more happy. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. His Majesty the late King Pumi Pondadunyadeh left behind his teaching as his legacy. The Institute of Dermatology follows His Majesty the King's philosophy by not only providing services to the people in rural areas, but also collaborating with other dermatological experts from around the world to exchange information on new technologies. That concludes this episode of Be My Guest. I want to sign her home.